In this video, we're doing U substitutions involving trig. This is part three of U substitutions. So again, we're looking for the inside function. In example one, the inside function is 2x. So we're going to designate that as U. So if U is 2x, then the derivative of that would be 2dx. Now, we don't have a 2dx. We simply have a dx. So if I would like to multiply by 2 on the inside, I must divide by 2 or multiply by 1 half on the outside. I get 1 half integral cosine u du. Now we recognize cosine as the answer of, for the derivative of sine. So this becomes 1 half sine, not really u, so we're going to replace the u with the 2x plus c. In example two, secant tangent. The inside function is 3x, so u is 3x. du would be 3dx. Notice we do not have a 3dx. So if I want to multiply by a 3 on the inside, multiply by 1 third on the outside, that gives us 1 third integral secant u tangent u du, we'll recognize secant u tangent u as being secant. So that would be one-third secant. Now, it's not really u. Remember, u is 3x, so we're going to put a 3x plus c. In example three, our inside function is 5x. u is 5x. du would then be 5dx. We don't have a 5dx. Multiply by 5 on the inside, 1 fifth on the outside. We now have 1 fifth integral secant squared u du. We recognize secant squared as being the answer for the derivative of tangent. So we would have 1 fifth tangent. It's not u. u is, again, 5x plus c. In example four, inside function u is 4x. So du derivative would be 4dx. We don't have a 4dx, so if we multiply by a 4 on the inside, multiply by 1 fourth on the outside, we get 1 fourth integral sine of u du. Now, Sine is close to the derivative of cosine. We would need a negative. If I want to put a negative on the inside, I need to undo it with a negative on the outside. Well, now we have cosine, so we have negative one-fourth cosine. It's not really u. It's really 4x plus c.